Hi there, my name is Mark Wright, I'm Chief Operating Officer for Bytron, and we're here today to do, introduce to you our new diesel fuel conditioner. It's an amazing new product that is uh, so relevant today, especially given the changes that have been taking place in diesel fuel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the powers that be are taking the sulfur out of diesel fuel uh, with our new ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel. And that's great from an environmental standpoint because it means that those sulfur compounds aren't going out into the environment and, and polluting, causing acid rain and all those nasty things. But what it means for the fuel itself is that unfortunately the lubricity or how well the fuel lubricates has uh, gone through the floor. So as a result of that, we're seeing uh, fuel pumps wearing out prematurely. We're also seeing uh, fuel injectors burning out and all those kinds of things. Now with our new diesel fuel conditioner, this product here that's uh, just now become available, we, we've uh, been able to use our Bitron technology to put uh, com compounds within this fuel conditioner that are going to bond to the metal, treat the metal, and provide a protective layer so, it's, whereas it's not replacing the lubricity, what it is doing is, is coating and protecting the metal surface with a layer of hydrocarbon molecules that offer the, the maximum protection as possible. We're going to test it today to see how well it stands up against regular diesel fuel with what we call our cross-axis friction testing machine. We've got a very powerful electric motor in here that is spinning this race bearing. We've got another bearing here of, of a similar metal that we're going to hold against the race bearing and uh, see how much lubrication that the fuel itself pr provides and then fuel with a little bit of our Bitron diesel condition is going to provide. So what we've got here is some diesel straight from the pump. I'm going to put it into this little cup here to make it a little bit easier to add to our lubrication bath, which is uh, this little metal device here, which I'm going to tuck under the race bearing. I'm going to add a little bit of fuel to this. Turn on the electric motor. Right away you can hear it grinding the metal against the metal. We're going to apply pressure, we're going to be able to measure it to see how much it can stand. And that will be roughly not very much. It's failed, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but about 50 pounds of weight. And it got so hot between the two metal surfaces that they actually welded together and had to break them apart. We'll do that again. We the metal grinding. Pressure. Right on about 50 pounds again. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'll just uh, show you the damage that's been caused. We can see the damage that's been caused there. Very little protection offered by the diesel fuel itself, okay? Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep the, uh, what I might do is turn the race bearing around a little bit and we'll use a different spot. Bolt there, and I'm going to add a little bit of our bitron to the mix, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. It's not applying to the pressure. You can even hear. But the sound actually changed a little bit. It's not squealing anywhere, not like as much as it was before. So we're going to start applying pressure. See right there, we're already at the same pressure that the diesel fuel itself failed at. We're going to keep applying pressure. You can hear it's actually getting quieter as I increase the pressure. And that's as, as I keep applying the pressure, the Vitron is bonding to the metal, giving a protective layer. And the interesting thing about our product is the more heat there is, the more of our product is actually bonding there. So you can see right now we're about 150 pounds of weight, which is three times as much as the diesel fuel itself managed before it failed. We're going to keep applying pressure. We're up there now to about 200 pounds. 250 pounds of weight. You can hear it's actually getting quieter and quieter the longer we go in this test. I'm up over 300 pounds to about 350 pounds of weight right now, and it's still not seizing. And remember, with just the diesel fuel alone, it was failing at about 50 pounds, if that. You can see the bend I'm getting on this torque wrench here. We're up over 450 pounds of weight, approaching 500 pounds. 
over 500 pounds of weight, you can see it's getting a little bit hot, it's actually starting to smoke a little bit, but the Vitron's still working just fine. And what I may be able to do, if this is not too hot, is actually remove the bat altogether, and we've just got straight Vitron, no protection at all, but there's enough Vitron bonded to the metal surface to allow us to be protecting at pretty well the top of the scale. We're up over 550, 600 pounds of weight that I'm applying here. Do the shock test, and we're up on the shock test there. If you look, we're probably over 700 pounds of weight, and it still will not see. There's no tricks here. It's just Vitron working extremely effectively. So you really need to put this in your diesel fuel, guys. Great, great so in conclusion, what we've just seen is that uh, diesel fuel, straight from the pump, fails at about 50 pounds of weight on the torque wrench here, on our cross-axis friction testing machine. With Bitron, a little bit of Bitron diesel conditioner added to the straight diesel fuel, we saw it off the scale. We saw it 750, 800 pounds on the torque wrench, and it really goes up to 600 pounds, but we managed to get it off the scale. It uh, even survived the shock test, put in instant shock. Onto the, onto, the, onto the torque wrench, it, it hasn't failed. Okay, so what we can see here, the first scar was caused just by diesel, uh, straight from the pump, uh, it offered very little protection, uh, it was burning and uh, it was, the two metal surfaces were welding together, you see a very gouged out, deep scar, uh, the two surfaces were welding together, uh, no protection really offered at all, and that's as a direct result of the lack of lubrication in the diesel fuel. It wouldn't actually have fared that much better under these really extreme conditions, even with the sulfur compounds in there. But you can see, if I rotate the bearing slightly, the difference uh, with our diesel fuel conditioner having been added, um, the Bitron technology has uh, caused those hydrocarbon molecules to be actually attracted into the areas of heat, offering protection where it's needed most. And imagine if that was a fuel pump. Now, what would you rather it be protected by, diesel fuel? or diesel fuel with our Bitron diesel conditioner. You see just how smooth that polish, it's actually almost polished an area on the metal surface where the two bearings came into contact. Very dramatic results, great lubrication, um, and that's just with our diesel product. Um, we've got products that go in your engine, we've got products that go in your transmission, hydraulics, you name it. Same sort of results, uh, dramatically improved lubrication, real extreme lubrication where it's needed most. Uh, so it works, works extremely well. It's not just providing lubricity, it's improving the way the fuel burns through a whole variety of ways we're happy to get into with you. But uh, when you burn fuel more completely, you get lower emissions and you get more energy out of the fuel. So great byproducts of not just putting lubricity back in your fuel, but uh, less downtime, less maintenance, uh, and all those other great things as well. I encourage you to give this product a try. And all the manufacturers out there are recommending that uh, those of you with diesel products uh, use a diesel conditioner. We're confident this is the best you're going to see out there in the market, and there's a test that pretty well shows that. Thanks a lot for your time, guys. Enjoy using the product.